My name is Mohammad Khodabakhshi. I'm a co-founder and CEO of Digitrack Systems, which focuses on implementing recall and tracking process in food and agriculture industries fast and efficient. We all know the pro product recall in different industries. However, recall process in food and agriculture industries is vital since a contaminated product imposes direct risk to the public health. Based on CFIA reports, there are more than 2,000 concerning food safety issues, more than 3,000 investigation cases, and 440 recall events per year in Canada. According to a survey of Grocery Manufacturers Association out of the U.S., 81% deemed the financial risk from a recall event either significant or catastrophic. 58% experienced a product recall event in the last five years. 77% estimated the financial impact from a recall event to be up to $30 million, and 23% reported even higher costs. However, the damage to a brand reputation can be the most extreme impact of the recall event. The recall process followed by most of the manufacturers and distributors is implemented by traditional means such as telephone calls, fax, or emails, which is not fast and efficient enough, and it is hard to get a communication confirmation. This is even more problematic for the end consumers. The only ways to be informed about a new released recall event is either via news or visiting CFIA-related websites which most of the times is not a timely procedure. This is where DigiTrack Digi Systems solution becomes very valuable. DigiTrack Systems provides an exclusive cloud-based platform to connect all the touch points from the manufacturer to the end consumer, which makes the entire recall process fast and efficient. In addition, the platform employs an artificial intelligence technology to instantly notify the end consumer. The cloud-based platform gives the ability to manufacturers and distributors to upload their product information, then manage their supply chain, visually track their product, and in case of a recall event, implement the procedure in a timely and efficient manner and get the final report in a short time. The end consumers are able to send a picture of their product to the platform using text message. The image is processed using a machine learning technology and sent them all the essential information about the product. In addition, in case of a recall event from that specific brand, the end consumer will receive a notification text. We have competition in the market. However, DigiTrack Systems is leading an artificial intelligence and machine learning technology exp expedition focused on digital transformation of recall and tracking process in food and agriculture industries, and also provides services to the end consumers, and this makes us different. Our revenue model is subscription-based for manufacturers and distributors and free for the end consumers to help improving the public health. The idea originated in May 2020. I started the collaboration with Accelerator Guelph in August 2020. We were accepted by Queen's Innovation Program in November 2020 and currently working on the business model. Accepted by Waterloo Accelerator Center in February 2021 and currently working on the digital and artificial intelligence product. We are hoping to start developing the first MVP using the 10K prize from the pitch. I am Mohammad Khodabakhshi, co-founder and chief operating officer of Digitrack Systems. The other co-founder is Hesam Hassan Nejad as the chief executive officer and the third co-founder is Amir Nomovar as the Chief Technology Officer. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to present DigiTrack Systems. Now, Mohammed, uh, the recalls that your technology addresses represent 
a really terrifying reality for everybody involved in the agri-food system, not to speak of the consumers, the end consumers. How are you going to engage consumers with your product, with the platform, and how are you going to encourage them to participate? Yeah, that that's a great question, actually. Uh, as you know, people already uh, have co concerns about uh, the products that, that they buy every day. Uh, and um, they are reporting every day to uh, CFIA about uh, safety issues, uh, concerning issues. Uh, so I think that people already need that. And also we are going to use some uh, online marketing about that and uh, advertising for that. Uh, but if people know that, they will uh, get very important inf information about the product uh, in addition to the recall notification. Uh, I think, uh, actually we think that they will, uh, they will uh, use that, use the platform. Thanks. Thanks, Mohammed. Um, now look at the other end of the story. Um, I understand that you thought about the, the, the technology, but how will you convince actually the producers that they entrust their data and put it into your cloud? Yeah, uh, actually the, the platform is exclusive. They, they will have their uh, own profile. Nobody else will use the uh, will have access to their data, and also uh, they are already uh, using some uh, traditional system to do that. So uh, they will not add uh, uh, more information than uh, what they have already. So uh, if they are worried about their brand reputation and also the financial uh, damage that a, a recall event can cause them, uh, they will be convinced to uh, use the platform and uh, upload their information. And the, the information is not that a comprehensive information about the product. So uh, we believe that uh, they need to use that. And uh, a quick follow on on that. Uh... Many companies obviously are using uh, their own uh, systems to track that. Uh, and you said it's going to be easy and not extra work for them. So will you provide an interface to connect to those systems or what's the technical plan here? Yes, uh, for, for, for the manufacturers and importers, it's uh, an interface. Actually, they, they have a profile uh, to upload their uh, information and uh, the, the information that they, they upload is a simple file such as a, an excel file for daily production and uh, it, it's not a complicated process to upload that and they will use the, that interface uh, that application actually to track their uh, product and also manage their recall uh, process this is from the uh, manufacturer side. Okay, thanks, Mohammed. Hello, Mohammed. So, uh, thanks for the presentation. Um, you have uh, outlined your business model um, and explained that you see two user groups: the the manufacturers and the uh, the producers, and then the uh, the end user, the consumers. Uh, what I didn't hear about was uh, the retailers uh, and where they would fit into your uh, your business model, seeing as they are actually um, will be largely responsible for implementing uh, the recalls uh, that are issued by the manufacturers. Yes, uh, that's right. Actually, uh, we included importers, uh, but as you said, re retailers and distributors are going to be potential customers for this platform. And all the services that we uh, included in this platform uh, are going to be useful for them as well. Uh, and uh, actually uh, right now, some of them are using this, using uh, a similar platform to track their product and 
recall process. For example, a Starbucks right now is using something like this. And uh, yes, that's correct. And uh, distributors and retailers are also potential customers for uh, digital act systems. Okay, thank you. Hi, Mohammed. Um, one of the things that you mentioned as a differentiator is machine learning. Uh, what exactly will machine learning enable you to do in terms of providing a better consumer experience? Yeah, uh, as, as I mentioned in the presentation, uh, the end consumers uh, are uh, have the option to upload an image uh, of their product that they bought. Uh, and that, then uh, image processing is what uh, the technology will do for us to process the image and find the, the brand of that uh, product or uh, the, the end consumer can uh, only uh, actually upload their uh, QR code. So the machine learning part will work on uh, process uh, image processing uh, mostly. Okay, great. Thank you.